Hi friends, Miss Lisa. I thought we would read a story about whose mouth is this? Everybody has a mouth, right? We use ours to eat and talk and laugh, and make silly faces and all kinds of things. So this is a story that's got some animals in it that have different kinds of mouths. So let's see if we can figure out by using our eyes to look at and see if we can figure out which animal they're trying to tell us about. So this one is Whose Mouth Is It Anyway? And it's written by Lisa Morris Key and the pictures are drawn or colored by Ken Landmark. So that's the author and the illustrator. The illustrator is the person who writes, I mean, draws the pictures. Whose mouth is this howling in the trees? Can you tell? Who do you think has a mouth like that, like this? Got any guesses? That's a howler monkey's mouth. As the sun rises in the rainforest, howler monkeys gather in groups. Together they let out a great roar. The roar echoes through the trees and tells other howler monkeys, keep out. A fun fact, howler monkeys' wide mouth and throat work like a megaphone. Lots of other monkeys shriek, chatter, and scold each other, but the howler monkey's cry is the loudest. A howler monkey can be heard more than a mile away. That's a long ways. They're very loud. Whose mouth is this curled up tight? Who do you think has something like this in their mouth? This is a butterfly's mouth. A butterfly's mouth is a long tube that works like a straw. The butterfly stretches out its mouth to suck nectar from a flower. Then the butterfly is done drinking, and the tube curls back up under the butterfly's head. A fun fact, other insects have tube mouths too. The mosquito uses its tube mouth to bite animals and people and suck up their blood. So that is a butterfly mouth. Whose mouth is this? So strange and round. Who do you think has a mouth like that? I don't know. This is a sea lamprey's mouth. A sea lamprey is a fish that looks like a snake. A sea lamprey's mouth is a powerful sucker. The lamprey sticks its mouth onto the side of a fish and then the lamprey digs in its sharp teeth and eats the fish. A fun fact, a female sea lamprey uses her mouth to pick up and move small rocks on the bottom of a stream. She cleans a place and makes the perfect spot to keep her eggs safe. So that was a mouth of a certain kind of fish. What about this one? Ooh, that's a great big mouth. Whose mouth is this so big and wide? Can you guess? Think of something really, really big. Yeah, good ideas. This is a blue whale's mouth. The whale's mouth has baleen plates instead of teeth. Baleen works like a strainer. The whale takes in a huge mouthful of seawater, and when the whale squirts the water back out, tiny sea creatures are trapped behind the baleen. A fun fact, blue whales are the largest animals on earth, but they eat some of the smallest living things. Every time the whale fills its mouth, it traps thousands of tiny shellfish called krill. So a great big whale eats little tiny things called krill, and that's what that big whale eats. Whose mouth is this carrying a cub? Look at there's the mouth, and that's the cub. Who's, whose mouth is that? I don't know. That is a leopard's mouth. A mother leopard uses her powerful mouth to gently lift her cub and move it away from danger. A leopard also uses its sharp teeth and strong jaws to find its prey so it can eat. Fun fact, a leopard uses its mouth to drag its food up into a tree it hides the food where other hungry animals cannot reach it. 
So not only are their mouths very useful, but they're very strong and very powerful. Whose mouth is this so full of fish? Who do you think's got a mouth like this? Kind of looks like a beak. And there's fish in there. They must like to eat fish. Oh, this is a puffin's bill. A puffin dives into the sea and scoops up fish in its rounded bill. The puffin can swallow fish underwater or it can carry it back to its nest. Bumps in the puffin's bill help it grip lots of fish as it swims or flies. A fun fact, a puffin cleans its feathers by pulling them through its bill. This is called preening. As a puffin preens, it spreads a waxy oil on its feathers to make them waterproof. So that's kind of a cool fact about those guys. Ooh, look at this mouth. I bet you know whose mouth that is. Whose mouth is this? Glistening with fangs. It's a pit viper's mouth. Pit viper's a kind of a snake. The pit viper opens its mouth to strike. Sharp fangs swing forward. When the snake bites, deadly poison flows through the fangs and into its prey. Fun fact, the pit viper's jaws can stretch and open very wide. A pit viper can swallow an animal bigger than the snake's own head. Oof, that's kind of a scary thought, isn't it? But that's what they do. Pit vipers are a kind of snake. Whose mouth is this eating an ice cream cone? Look at, who, do you like to eat ice cream? Let me do Let's see whose mouth it is. I bet you can already guess. That is your mouth. Like other animals, you can eat, breathe, and taste with your mouth. You can drink water through a straw. You can howl like a monkey. Can you squirt water out of your mouth like a whale? I wouldn't try that one unless you're by the sink. Mom and Dad might not like that. You are the only animal that can tell jokes with your mouth. What else does your mouth do? Our mouth does a lot of things, doesn't it? Fun fact, did you know that it's more work to frown than to smile? We use over twice as many muscles to frown as we do to smile. And this is just for fun. Can you cross the crocodile swamp? Point to the rocks with the right answers and make your way to dry land. A bird that catches fish in its mouth is a puffin. Remember he was that bird? When a pipe pit viper is ready to strike, its fangs fill with poison. Well, a blue whale uses its baleen to st strain tiny sea creatures. Remember we talked about how little, or they're called krill, that they eat? A howler monkey's cries tell other monkeys to keep out. They don't like to have visitors. They're kind of that way. A butterfly uses its long tube mouth to drink nectar. Phew! We made it to the end of the story. Good job. So just some things today to kind of think about. Um, how do we use our mouths? And how do animals use their mouths differently than we do? Something to think about. Bye.